All right, so I'm back after a two-week break from recording. We'll just go ahead and dive right back into our application. So these next few videos will address a few topics requested by users as well as refactoring. If you remember, back in video number three, we talked about sessions and cookies, and that in order to access a session ID, you need to use an encryption key, which is assigned to the secret key variable. So at the time, we simply set the value of the variable to the string my precious, which you can see here, which is actually extremely dangerous, as I had said. This key needs to be randomly generated. And why is that so important? Well, if the client tries to manipulate data within the session ID, we want it to be rejected by the server. If the client is able to somehow guess the secret key, they can generate their own session data, which will not be rejected by the server. And you can probably guess that this is, well, not good to say the least. So what's a session ID for? Well, it's stored inside of a cookie and it's used to link the user to specific data on the server side, like information about said user in the database, for example. So the question then becomes, how do we generate a truly random key? So let's go ahead and turn to the Flask docs, which you can find a link to in this video's description. So if we scroll down here to the section where it says how to generate good keys, it says here, your operating system has ways to generate pretty random stuff based on a cryptographic random generator, which can be used to get such a key. So then if we follow the docs, we go ahead and open up Python shell here. Import OS. I'll just go ahead and paste that in. Okay, so this uRandom generates a random string with a link the size of the attribute, which in this case is obviously 24. So let's go ahead and grab that string here. And if we go back to our application, we can go ahead and assign it to our secret key variable. Go ahead and save it, and it's that easy. So that's it for this video. I will see you next time.